Hello everyone, Alejandra here. I hope you're having a very nice day. Today I want to show you how we can transform the data type for all your columns in your table without having the column names hard coded. Um, just be aware that the data type will be the same for all the columns in our table. Okay. So here I have an example uh, with these items. And let's say these are the sales for all these stores from store one to 15. I'm going to right click inside of the table and I'm going to select get data from table range or you can also go to your data tab and select from table range. I'm using Microsoft 365 and the Power Query Editor opens. Here on the left, I have all my queries. My query is called demo. That is the name of my table. I'm going to hide this part on the left where I have my queries so we have more room on the table. So Control C plus to zoom in. And here you can see that Power Query created two steps for me. The first is the uh, step source where I have my table just as is from Excel. And you can see here on the top left that I have ABC123 in all my columns. And that is because the data type has not been detected. The next step, uh, Power Query assigns the data type by default. But what happens here is that the name of our columns is hard coded. And I don't like this because if at one point any of my column names change or some of the columns are not on the table, then I'm going to have an error, right? Power Query is going to say that cannot find column or those columns. So for that reason, <laughs> let's delete this step. I'm going to stay on the source and I'm going to create a new step here on my formula bar. I'm going to click at this FX to create a new step. If you don't have the formula bar visible, you can go to view and make sure that you have a check mark here on uh, beside formula bar. And then you have that visible. After the equal, I'm going to show you something first. I'm going to say table column names. Okay. I'm going to open parenthesis, and it's going to ask me for a table that is coming from my previous step, source. I'm going to press enter. And here I have the, the column names as a list. OK, I'm going to select all of these, Control X, because I'm going to use this later on. And for now, I'm going to go back to source as this step was before. So here I have my table that is coming from my previous step, source. Get the equal, I'm going to say table transform column types right here. Open parenthesis. It's going to ask me for a table that is coming from my uh, step source, which is the table that we are seeing here. And it's going to ask me type transformation as list. Remember that we have our column names as list, but I want to transform that list. For that reason, I'm going to say list transform. Open parenthesis is going to ask me for a list. The list is coming from the result of the table column names, comma. And I need to provide a function. I'm going to provide a word each. This is a keyword for a function. And what I want from there, I'm going to press Shift Enter to go to the next line. So I'm going to open the curly brackets and I'm going to tell Power Query to look at every single item there on that list. And what I want to do, I want to transform that as text. I'm going to go to the end, close parenthesis for the column transform uh, column types, enter. Now you can see that all my columns have an ABC. And that ABC, if you click there, you can see that is for text. You can see that all the numbers are aligned to the left. The text is aligned to the left, the numbers are aligned to the right. Now let's say that we want to transform all of these columns into numbers. So from here, I'm going to create a new step. I'm going to click at FX. After the equal, I'm going to say table, transform column types, open parenthesis to the table that is coming from my previous step, custom one, which is this table that I'm seeing here with all the information um, as text, comma, type transformation as list. Remember, I want to transform that list, list transform, open parenthesis, the list, I'm going to control V as I still have that from here. But this time, I don't want the column names coming from my source step. I want that to come from my custom one step, which is the table that we are seeing here. In this case, it's the same, but in case that you 
did some transformations on the previous step. Those transformations are going to be captured on these uh, column names, right? And after that, I'm going to say each, open in curly brackets, underscore, comma, to look at every single item in the list. And here, this time, I'm going to say integer 64 type. I want whole numbers. That's why I select in 64 type. I'm going to press enter. And now you can see that I have one, two, three in every single column in my table, right? All of them. Uh, but I have a, an issue here. The column item has errors. And that is because the items here cannot be converted into numbers. Well, there is a way to fix that here. I'm going to go here to my formula bar before my table column names, shift enter to go to the next line. And I'm going to say list skip, open parenthesis. And this function is going to skip the first item on the list for the fault. Let's say I have in my list, I have item store one, store two, store three, and so on. In this case, I want to ignore or I want to skip the first item on the list. I don't want to transform that column for that reason. I'm going to skip it and I'm going to go to the end table column names, close parentheses for the, uh, the list skip. I'm going to go to the end and I'm going to press enter. And now you can see that my column item has ABC as text and every single other column has one, two, three, four whole number. This is a very good way to transform the data type on your table without hard coding the name of the columns in your function. I hope you found this technique useful. If you like it, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That helps me to grow in YouTube. And also share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.